welcome to Wheelwork's Creative Tac Tac series. Today I'm going to show you some Zoom hacks. Whether you're hosting a quiz, connecting with friends, recording videos or developing your creative skills, everything I show you is available on the free Zoom account. Hello, my name is Sinead Owens and I'm a stage manager. Over the past year I've been spending a lot of time on Zoom, not just for weekly quizzes and catch up with friends but also for my work. I have been working with companies like Big Telly Theatre Company in Northern Ireland and Creation Theatre Company over in Oxford to bring our performances online and create digital theatre. Today I'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks and hacks that I have learnt along the way. One of the first things I want to talk about is the difference between speaker view and gallery view. Speaker view means that you will see the person speaking and you can control this through the spotlight and pin function which I'll talk about later. So at, right now I'm in speaker view but there also is the option of gallery view and in gallery view you can see everyone in the Zoom call. As you can see just up here in the corner of my screen I have an option called turn on original sound. I think when you hit that it's a better experience audio wise for you and for the audience. If you don't have that button on your screen, if you go down to the microphone, there's a little arrow beside it. If you can just, just see it just about here. Yeah. So when you click that, you go into audio settings. In audio settings, if you scroll, there should be the option that says show in meeting option to enable sound. So if it's unclicked, you just click that. And then when you come out, you will see that there's a turn on original sound button. Hit that and I think your experience audio wise will be much nicer. So again if you just go down over here to the stop video there's a little arrow beside it. If you click that you go into the choose video filter. Once you're in choose video filter you'll get a screen like this and you'll see that there's loads of different filters that you can choose from. So maybe you want to go black and white or you can add a nice hue to the picture. You can be CCTV. Uh, give yourself a halo, which I like to do every so often, or maybe you want to perform on stage. These are all filters that you can use within Zoom. They also have added studio effects, so you can give yourself eyebrows, you can give yourself some facial hair, or you can change your lip colour. So there's me with purple lips, or you can go into the colour wheel, and you can give yourself some blue lips, um, some green lips, whatever you want you can pick from there. Just remember to turn them off before any important Zoom meetings. I'll close these over. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is virtual backgrounds. So if you check virtual backgrounds, as you can see from my screen right now, I don't have a green screen. It's just me. There's no green screen behind me. But that wasn't as good as people on TikTok, but you get the idea. I'm just going to quickly pause here. Although I'm using a green screen for this section, some devices and laptops can do this without a green screen. You can also set it for other colours by clicking the manually pick colour button. So if you have a blue wall or red curtains or anything like that, you can still play with these settings. So if I click, I have a green screen, then options come up. So this is just one option that we used previously in a show. I can add anything I want here. So if I click the little add button, maybe I want to look like I'm in the Simpsons. So let's open that. Or maybe I want to be in up. And we'll just come back out of that. One of the functions that I use the most on Zoom is share screen, which is the green button just in the middle down here. If you click share screen, this opening slide allows you to choose what you have open on your desktop. So at the moment I have a PowerPoint and an image open, but I'm going to ignore those both for now and I'm going to click whiteboard. So if I click whiteboard and share, it'll open a blank white document. You and the other participants within your Zoom call can then annotate one of the other things on share screen. I would say if you're sharing a video that you click the share sound and optimize for video clip. I'm going to talk now about the advanced slide within share screen. So this is a new option. If I click slides as virtual background and hit share it should open up a little thing like this so I'm just going to click PowerPoint open. As you can see, when this opens, it has both me and the PowerPoint behind me. If you follow my mouse here, you can see that I can flick through the different slides. You can also move your image around, so I can move myself up, I can make myself bigger, smaller, 
whatever you want to do with that, you can move your little camera to be wherever you think it should be on the screen. The third thing I want to talk about within Share Screen is sharing music or computer sound only. So I use this tool nearly every single day on Zoom. This is what I use if I want the soundscape in the background or maybe we're having a disco at the end of one of the shows and we want to play some music, this is the tool I use. So whether you're listening to music on Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, this will just give a much clearer audio for the people watching. You might have found in the past that if you play music within your room, then that your voice dips in and out or maybe the music dips in and out and this is just a really clear way to share music within Zoom. So really easily, if you pin someone, that's just for you. That's just for you to see. If you spotlight someone, that's for everyone to see. And basically both of those options just make that person the biggest view within Zoom. So if we look first for pinning, go up to these little boxes along the top. If we go to Sinead's screen, then if I pin, that's just for me. So everyone else within the call will just see the active speaker, whereas I can view this version of Sinead. If I hit remove pin here, then it will go, just go back to me. Hello. Now I can also spotlight Sinead's screen. So again, if I go to the three dots and then hit spotlight for everyone, then this version of Sinead is for everyone to see. So even though I am the person talking in the background, nobody will see me, they will just see this Sinead and remove spotlight. So you can do this by hitting the three dots as I did above, or you can go to participant bar. So if I hit participant bar here, and I can hit the little more button, and I can spotlight for everyone. But I can also use this option, and instead of replacing the spotlight, which would just bring it to the other person, I can use the option that allows you to add a spotlight. Me and second to me. Now you can do this up to nine times. So if I add another spotlight and add a fourth spotlight, there's all four chenilles. You can do this, as I said, up to nine times within a call. I really hope you find some of these hacks useful. And what I would say is the best way to learn about Zoom is to play on Zoom. There's so many fun things that this platform can do and it's really unique to you and what you want it to do. So whether that's hosting quizzes, recording videos, connecting with friends or developing skills, you can make this platform work for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like it, check out the other videos in the series and like and subscribe to Wheelworks for more great content. Thanks so much. Bye.